Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, they're finally here. The all about the bait jig heads. December 15, 2018. I finally decided I got to have my own jig heads. Uh, when I first started the company, I started selling these paddle tails, silver glitter, gold glitter, and I sold a ton of them, close to 10,000 in this little over a year. And uh, if for those that remember in the beginning, I actually sold these paddle tails with a little pack of jig heads. And what it was is that I was, there were I think called Wahoo jerk jigs. And I was just getting them from my local Kmart. I would just go buy every single one that they had. And then I would package them with a 20 pack of uh, paddle tails. And boom, I would just sell them like crazy because one goes with the other. You can't really use one without the other. Well, unfortunately, what happened is the Wahoo company discontinued making them and I couldn't get them anymore and I was stuck. Um, even though we're here in the uh, Florida Keys, Key West, which is like the top fishing destinations in the world, you just can't find very good uh, jig heads or very many different types of them. It's, uh, we just don't have a soft plastic industry down here. It's not that type of fishery. Well, so what I've been doing was just because I need them for my own use, was I was just going out and just buying these batches off of eBay. I've got probably six or seven different varieties. I was just trying all these different ones to get something that works for me. Well, that worked okay, but the problem with the business side of it is, is that my second most often asked question to the number one, which is what color Yelltail Snapper Drift Jig to get, is what jig heads to get to use for the paddle tails that I sell. I sold 10,000 and I don't have a jig head to go with it. So December 15th, I just said, hey, I got to take care of that. So that started off the process. $1,100 later, uh, designing a jig head, CAD designs, uh, doing a sample molds, shipping me the sample jigs, sample hooks, putting it together, testing it, changing it and then finally coming out to a prototype that I liked and it would work, then coming to uh, uh, creating the uh, forced induction molds. These aren't hand poured molds, these are intricate design jig heads. So you can see they're very detailed. Um, you can only do that through the force style uh, lead injection. And I've got high speed ones because I do a lot. Um, I've surpassed over a quarter million hooks that I bought from Mustad for my jigs. So I sell a lot of these things. So I can't just do like one or two or five at a time. I need a lot done quickly. So I got all those, uh, high speed molds done and then finally got them last week. All my jig heads. Ah, uh, so if you want to check these out, you can just go straight to the website, allaboutthebait.com, hit artificial baits. And they're all listed there, got pictures, measurements, descriptions, hooks, types, and videos on how to rig them and use them and so forth. But otherwise, I've got six different styles to choose from, six different options. Uh, basically, two different hook styles. Uh, what I've got is a 3 aught in a size 1 8 ounce and a size 1 quarter ounce. And that's for baits in the range of two and a half inches to four inches. Uh, the hook on those are a standard heavy duty nickel styled hook, salt water, super sharp, but just standard heavy duty. Okay, that's the first two options. Those are for my smaller baits. Then these are the main ones that I specifically wanted and just was focused on, which are the four aught must add two X strong hooks. And you'll see in the description, the model and all the, the write up about just the hooks. It's a 60 degree bend hook. It's just their, the best must add jig hooks that they make. Then I've got those in a head size of one eighth, one quarter, one half and one ounce. So it covers a full range and that four aught size, 
will cover baits roughly from four inches to six inches in length. And that's what they'll fit very well for. Now the selection of these uh, jig heads was very specific. As you'll see, I've got the uh, three yacht in the standard heavy duty wire, which cover the more smaller plastics. Uh, those were specifically made for everyday fun fishing. Okay, they'll catch pretty much everything um, with that heavy duty hook. I wouldn't hesitate to throw them on pretty much anything. And they'll definitely do better than they did with these uh, eBay hooks that I took offshore and how many times on my videos I just oh, lose a fish because those stupid hooks because they would bend or tweak out and so forth. Not going to be a problem on these three aughts. So, and I wanted something that was a little bit less expensive and it'd be just something how many times of those toothy critters toss it out there and you just rail in and your jig is gone and you're like, ah. But my focus though was these four aught hooks. And that's why I specifically wanted the Mustang 2X heavy duty hooks. It's basically their highest production end style hooks that they sell. And the reason for these are twofold. Tarpon on the inshore, full-size tarpon on the inshore, and all those offshore species that I'm trolling out there, um, tunas, the dolphins, the sailfish, and so forth that I find out beyond the reef. I wanted something that if I hook onto them, I don't have to worry about that hook pulling, bending, popping out, whichever. And that's the specific reason for the Mustad uh, 2Xs. So if you want more specifics, check out the uh, website, allaboutthebait.com, and check out the artificial, the jigs, and then each one of them has very specific write-up about those jig heads, um, as well as how to use them, how to tie them, and so forth. Uh, I haven't been doing a lot of fishing with uh, my paddle tails recently, because I had, for the last six weeks, I had two original samples of each one, and that was it after I approved the proofs. And then uh, they were in production. I finally just got these in about a week ago. So that whole time frame, I was just like very hesitant to throw these. And I actually used them and I lost a couple and I was so bummered out. But uh, I will finally be able to get back into it. So I'll do a lot more featured videos using the uh, paddle tails with my new jig head. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> To celebrate all these new jig heads, I'm also going to expand my paddle tail lineup. Uh, one of the major additions is these guys, these little ones. Um, I'm going to call these my search baits. They're two and five eighths inch. Okay, I've got them in the silver and in the gold, just like the four inch paddle tails, just a slim down model. Um, I use these to catch those a uh, lot of fish, like those red fish. Um, bounce get just underneath the mangrove roots or when I go to the pat trees and just vertical jigging just a little bait uh, a lot of times the four inch is just not the right bait to use when I'm just out searching for fish but anything will hit these little two and five eights they're just so tasty looking and then these match up perfectly with those three aught jig heads that I got in the eighth and the quarter ounce and that's kind of what I was tuning in for is these guys, the two and five eights. Excellent there. Also on the four inch road, I've got all of them back in stock. Plus I added this one, which is a pearl base with a chartreuse top. Okay. I don't really use chartreuse a lot, but people love chartreuse. So I got to start getting more involved with it. So I figured I'd start with the four inch style. So you can check those out. And then another addition is my finger mullets. These are five inch uh, paddle tails. I've got it in the white and I've got it in the pearl with the black back. Very similar to the nine inch paddle tails I sell for the big tarpon. Uh, these work specifically well with the uh, four aught uh, um, jig heads. And they match the uh, size for the finger mullet that are hanging around. And these I'm going to be throwing for the tarpon. A lot of times the 9 inch paddle tails will work when those tarpon are busting on those schools like in the channels. But when they're out scavenging for food on the flats, I need a much more delicate presentation. The 4 inches are too, just too small of a bait to uh, entice them. 
but this five inch will be perfect, especially when there's all these finger mullet around. So go check them out. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I've actually got all the individual sizes sold on their own. I've got them sold in a combination pack with a uh, paddle tail and you get like four jig heads of all the, the 20 pack of uh, paddle tails that I sell. Also, I have a variety pack of just the jig heads where you can get two of each size, which is six different sizes and two of each. And you can get that as a bulk price. Um, I'll be doing some bulk pricing, which will make them considerably cheaper once I get some more volume in where I can actually do that. Uh, but otherwise, be on the lookout for more paddle tail videos because I'm gonna be focused on a lot of more artificial bait throwing. And uh, Esky's been working with me because I have these new baits, so got something new there too. So anyways, thanks for watching. Check them out. Super happy. It was a big milestone for my company. So super pumped that I'm getting to offer these. So check them out. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.